This video is to show you how to use Quick Create once you've already made your own template using the template tutorials. We're going to go ahead to the Products tab and make sure you choose the store that you want to get your that you want to get your template from and go ahead and click Quick Create. If you keep your store template in a different store than the store you want to add them to, that really doesn't make a difference. You can, as you can see, choose which store to get your template from. Once you've picked your store, I'm already in the correct one, you're going to go ahead and choose your template. My template is in this section here, and the template name is horizontal, the one I want to use. I have already uploaded my images. Once it appears, you're going to go ahead and click the image that is your template image that you've already applied and the one that you want to change. I'm going to go ahead and the first one that I'll do is this Statue of Liberty image here. So I'm going to check the image I'd like to add and click OK. I'll then click cre Create Products and you'll be taken to the proof page just like a photography proof page where you can see how the image fits on each product. This gives you a chance to look and see if there's anything that needs to be adjusted. The one thing you do want to ignore is in the preview it appears there's a little white line at the bottom there. However, when you zoom you can see that that is not correct. The line does disappear. I do want this image off-centered, so I am going to leave it the way it is on these products, even though I understand it is off-centered. This, however, on the coffee mug, I don't want her arm to be cut off. So I'm going to go ahead and click Customize and it's going to give me the options so that I can edit this image. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink it just a little and then adjust it down so it still wraps around majority of the mug but her arm is not cut off. If you hold the control button and press the arrow it moves just a little bit as opposed to a whole bunch and I'm doing that now. So I've adjusted this to where I want and I'm going to go ahead and hit Done. I do like how the image looks on all the other products, so I'm going to leave them because I do want the image to be off-centered. That's how I want it to look. I'm going to go ahead and hit Next. Now I need to give it a name, and we're going to call this Off-Centered Statue of Liberty, and give it a description. You can add a subtitle if you'd like. I don't, on this design, want to add one. Make sure you add any tags that you want to add. And fix any spelling errors. And then we're going to go ahead and select the public category we're going to put it in, just like you did when you made an individual product. And I'm going to put this under New York City because that's where the photo is taken. I can find New York City. There we go. Now let's look and see if there's anywhere else that I want to put it. I don't know if it's under here, under monuments. We'll take a look. statues and monuments, so we'll put it there also. Then I'm going to go ahead and create a new section for these products. That way my section image 
will be the same as all of the products inside that section. So first we'll change the image and we'll make sure we pick the same image. And then we're going to select where we're going to put it. And I'm gonna put it in a folder I already created called New York City. You want to try to make your titles match as best as possible, and then you can type a short description in here. You could also have copied the description from this screen here before you open the screen. This will be appear at the top of your section above all the individual products that feature that image. We're going to go ahead and say add the new product line and as you can see it's adding it in the Chasing the Gnome shop. New York City is the folder and the subfolder will now be named this. If you wanted to add it to a different shop from the one that you made the template in, you would go ahead and choose from your drop down menu here. You want to leave it as products for sale unless you're making for example, a group of business cards, then you would want to change it to templates for sale so that on the right hand side of your final products page, the shopper is able to simply type in their information without having to go to the customize it screen to add in the information. You also want to make sure that you leave your items public as opposed to hidden. If you hide them, nobody can see them. If you set them as direct only, it means they can only get to it. If you give them a direct link, your items will be opted out of the marketplace. Make sure that your item is G rated, if not change the rating. I personally leave the customize a button on because as I've said before, over half of my products sold are customized. You do have to agree after acknowledging that you do own the rights to this image and then fill in the recapture as close as you can get it. If you can't read it, simply click the refresh or you can click the audio in order to hear it. When done, go ahead and hit post it. And then you can do it again and we'll do it one more time. It'll bring up the same box we started with. I'm in the right shop. I'm going to hit select, select my template. And your template may have a different name for the section depending on what you called it when you created your template section. So you're just going to select the one that you named it, whatever name it is that you chose for it. I will go ahead this time and we'll add these shoes since they're nice and centered. And you can see that they appear okay on this. They look okay on here. However, again, on this wraparound coffee mug, they look odd. And on this iPad case, they're not large enough. That's why we have the red arrow. I do like how artistically they're cut off on these products. However, my other option I could do is I could do something simple like take these and change them to a square, which is what I'm going to do. Changing the keyring to the square keyring does make it more expensive because that does become a premium item as opposed to a standard item. However, in this case, I do want to do that. With the stickers, you get a little more leeway because there's some more shapes. I think I like that shape the best. I'm going to see if I can customize this and make it fit. And it looks like I cannot. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and just close that. And I'm simply going to remove that item. So this design will not be available on the iPad case. And I'm also going to go ahead and remove this wraparound mug because the image just doesn't look right once it's wrapped around. 
So now I have no more red arrows and all of the images I have, I like how they appear. So I'm going to go ahead and hit next and we will name this and type our description. and tags. We'll go ahead and add these to the public category. And I'm going to put them in here under, let's see, museums because that is from the Ellis Island Museum. I will clear my category and select new. I'm going to place this inside my random shots category because I think a picture of shoes appears there, looks better there than a, than in the New York City one. spelling errors and I will go ahead and change this and name the image or add the image rather. Now I see it is going into the right section. I normally I don't change these unless it needs to be changed to G or R. I leave all my products public and they are products for sale. I will go ahead and click this because I know I have the rights. My royalty percentage is already set to my default percentage, so I don't worry about changing that. We will type the recaptcha as close as it can be and hit post it. Just continue to do this over and over until all of your designs are up. If a new product is added and you need to add it to your template, simply go back to the template instructions and add that item, make it a template, and place it in your template folder. And from here on out, any new designs you add will have that new product on them.